right, welcome DGP Outdoors. Well, I had a little bit of an idea, and I'd say there's plenty of prospectors out there that's had the same idea. Um, you got all the little micro high bankers and stuff like that, but you're sacrificing bulk. Uh, you're not able to run you know, mass run a lot of material, even though I've literally pushed my little micro high banker to its limits. I think I run eight buckets unclassified in an hour and a half, which is a lot. But when you're used to running a large scale, I'm calling a large scale high banker. Mine's uh, not small, but it's not huge. It's a uh, 10 inch by 48 inch. Um, which I can dig one massive hole with. Uh, but not everybody wants to haul a large gas-powered water pump all the time. Um, you know, they're big, they're bulky, you got to make multiple trips unless you build a cart, and then you're limited on where you can go, access points, but uh, not to step on my buddy uh, Tom from Tom Gold Dirt's uh, little cheap Amazon series. My idea, I want to try to run electric. We'll open this here in a minute. So, before we get to that, I want to we'll throw it. I want to get into a mail call first. One of my sponsors, Dayton Prospecting, or Dennis Dayton, I'm a patron of his. And my name got drawn for the December Christmas giveaway. Now, anybody that's a fan of uh, Gold Rush, show you what I got. See who that is? Dakota Fred. I got me an autograph, autographed gold pan. You know where that's going to go. It's going to get hung up somewhere. So, we're going to do an unboxing. Alrighty. I got on Amazon, done a little research, and uh, right now I'm running... The micro with a uh, 1100 GPH pump. So, there was a few, and I picked the one that guaranteed a shipping date by a certain time. And uh, this will be kind of a test of a uh, Chinese made water pump. And of course, that's going to blow away. Hang on, two boxes. As you can see, made in China to the United States. This is a a marine made 3500 gph electric bilge pump and it's got the instruction booklet so inch and a half oops, inch and a half outlet as you can see it's pretty decent size got a pretty sturdy uh, screen on the bottom heavier wiring coming into it I'm hoping I can run an inch and a half way flat off to the creek and get enough water flow 
for a 10 inch by 48 inch box. I already have taken or taken my box completely off the cart <coughs> and I've got it strapped together with my old frame that I used to use and I got it to where I can carry it on my back. It's not the lightest, but I can transport it. And if I got a jacket or something on to where it kind of helps my shoulders, it won't be as bad. Uh, when I first packed it around, I just had a t-shirt on, which I'll put some pictures in right in here. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to set it up, run the hose, fill the pool up with water, and see if we can't get enough water flow to run some rocks. Test run. All right, we got the banker set up. Everybody remembers it. Looks a lot different when it's not on a big cart. And of course, everybody remembers the kiddie pool. I kind of shuffled all the heavy material off to one side. Yeah, we're going to hook up the pump. I should probably get some expanded metal because there are some leaves in here. So it's cold out. This wiring is stiff. It's throwing everything today. Get this set up with the inch and a half lay flat. I'm hoping this pump's got enough to push it. I guess we'll find out that's what this is all about. It's either going to work or it ain't. Got that on, and we're gonna get the power supply. Yes, right now we're still using the jumper box, so let's go get it. We'll fill this up with water and let's see if we can get any water flow. All right, we're gonna have to do this in a hurry. My phone's at like seven percent, and the sun's going down. All right, let's see, it's gonna drain this pool in a heartbeat. And I don't have the water flowing back into it. But let's turn this puppy on. Let's see what kind of water we get. Oh yeah. I think we'd have plenty enough. Especially if I got the kink out of it. And water stopping because I done drained the pool. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna run up here, turn the hose on, leave it on. Let's get a little more. All right, we're gonna do a take two. We got the hose on. Voila. Oh yeah, max water flow. got about a half inch of water running over everything half inch to three quarter inch I've got my uh, low pressure mat that I can put in here to get the river hog out if it need to be this is actually my dredge mat but hey everybody leave your comments down below see if you think this might work and of course I didn't suck the pull drag in well so now 
I can just throw a small car battery and my pump and a bucket, throw that on my back and take off. So let's see how this works. Leave comments down below. I'd like to know what everybody thinks and their opinions. So until the next time, thanks for watching. Dire here we go again. I almost said Dire Gold Prospecting. DGP Outdoors. Peace and we out. Thank you.